All right, we've got Wana here, one of our new people. So, um, Wana, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm originally from Transylvania, which is a region in Romania, Eastern Europe. Yep. Um, yeah, I got lots of funny questions since I moved to Australia. Yeah, it's... Uh, um, yeah, I, I, is there, is there I, actually vampires there or what? Yeah, heaps. <laughs> Dracula? Yeah, heaps. Yeah. And, yeah. You're, and, and bats and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're uh, scared have... of garlic and things like that. Yeah, and, of course. Yeah. And you don't usually come out during the daytime, is that no, right? No. No, you just like night? Yeah, yeah. 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 no, it's actually night time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and can we show us your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> you have fangs? <laughs> no? They only come out at night time. Oh, yeah. they grow, do they? Oh, yeah. I'm learning stuff, I'm learning yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. So that so, that uh, that story put you guys on the map. You're yeah. Saying. So Bram Stoker, the guy who, who wrote the novel Dracula, yeah, I have to give thanks to him. He yep. put us on the map. So yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows about us. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're telling me it's about 20 million people live there now, and it was uh, it in was the more. whole country. Yeah, 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 yeah. About 20. Yeah. yeah, and you've had a bit of a different um, upbringing because it was communism until 1989 as well. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, so, so it's an ex-communist country. Yeah, yeah. So how yeah, interesting it? history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, tell us about your journey through life. What did you were, you know, you lived in Romania. How long did you live there until? Um, yeah, until I was like mid twenties. Yeah. Um, and what yeah. were you doing there? What sort of work and things? I so I did my studies in tourism and engineering, and yeah, ended up working in IT for a few years. Yep. Um, and yeah, I kind of wanted more, something more uh, meaningful, yep. like yep. more fulfilling and yeah, just was just looking for more challenges. So ended up in Australia. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So how yeah. long have you been in Australia? Um, eight, nine years. Okay. Yeah. So you've been here yeah. for a while Time now. Time passes. Yeah. And are you a citizen now? Or? Yeah. You're yeah. a citizen. Yeah. 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 Bloody cool. Aussie. Yeah. Bloody Aussie. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> then, um, I suppose you're, you've got other interests, I suppose, as well. So you, you really like, oh, I'll let you talk about, but the outdoors and permaculture. Can you tell us a little bit about your interest in that nature? And yeah. Things, so. uh, I think I've always been uh like an outdoorsy person like yep. into camping hiking um yeah it's just you become more mindful when you're you're in nature yeah um yeah and i kind of discovered permaculture because i always had like a huge passion to like for the environment to protect the environment and yep. came across permaculture which is basically like a philosophy or a way of thinking um like working with nature rather than against it yeah, yeah so yeah. just observe the natural cycles in nature the the ecosystems how they work yep. like symbiosis for example and just implement that in your in your life in the in the human systems yeah um yeah like for, for instance i don't know it, it it raises questions like um like we really take for granted everything in our urban lifestyles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, things like, like where does food come from? Like the travel miles, is it locally produced or not? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah like how, what kind of energy do we use? Is it green energy? Is it fossil fuel? Fossil fuel or how much energy do we really use? Need like in yeah, yeah, day day to day yeah. and. Yeah, there's another cool concept, I guess, about waste. Um, that like there's no such thing as waste, only things in the wrong place. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah and it's cool. It just makes you think about yeah, the waste we produce and mm. like if we're conscious consumers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. that's all interesting, and I think you've um, been able to from all the learnings from permaculture and nature, just that study of that, you've been able to marry that up with the principles that we use for treating here, you know, for treating and exercise rehab. So yeah, can you tell us a little bit about what you kind of understand about nature and how that tr transfers? Well, I, kind of, I guess I kind of see the human body as a, like a, I don't know, a walking ecosystem. Yeah. You can see, yeah. Um, 
yeah, like I've always been, I guess, interested in anatomy and health. Yep. And later on, how the mind and our emotional state and yeah, everything is connected. And if we, yeah, if we work on the physical body, we affect um, other levels as well. Yep. Yeah, the mind, yeah. the emotion, yeah, yeah other things. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose like um, talking about waste and, and pollution and yeah. where it's stagnant, where it's not shifting and moving, we kind of have that working on the body too. We kind yeah. of try and hone in on where the, the biggest block is and try and, you know, melt that down, sort of chip away at it so it's mm. in smaller pieces that we can process and can eliminate out. Yeah. And then, then the body starts to heal. And I think that nature does a similar sort of thing. And, when you kind of it's got so much pollution and poison and chemicals or whatever it is in it yeah and once we start to shift that and move it it starts to heal and come better and get better and um yeah everything works in symbiosis together don't yeah, they like yeah yeah we need the the plants and the animals and and the wind and the sun and all that the rain all to work together to kind of have you know prosperity so yeah we we try and do that with the with people you know we we don't want to just work on the physical body we kind of like to create that relationship and and um, be able to give people what they need in yeah. order to get where they want to go i suppose and that's where wine has got this gift <laughs> <laughs> she's a she's a gem so um yeah yeah i guess another cool thing uh with mmt because you're you're focused on stagnation and flow yeah. in the body so yeah yeah, yeah you, you get to see that when when you're treating people and yeah yeah yeah. We can be a mirror for them, can't we? We can kind of yeah. reflect back at them where, you know, when they're telling us what's going on, we can kind of maybe give them some insights into what they're not seeing themselves because they're too close. We can kind of be outside and not be emotional, emotional yeah, you know, like they act, are. Yeah, just act as a guide for yeah. them, yeah, just to, I guess, improve their body awareness and yeah, yeah, yeah make cool. them feel better, move better. Yeah, 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 sweet. Mm. Anyway, guys, so Wana is next gen for a limited amount of time. So <laughs> she, hopefully you're not watching this too far in the future because you will miss out on the cheaper price. But even if you are, she's going to be giving you heaps of value anyway. So if you're interested in um, getting some work, some exercise with Wana and having a good chat, you'll, uh, yeah, do yourself a favor. Yeah, come book in. Yeah, book in. <laughs> Done.